Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Welcome everyone. I'm the chair of the jury. Let's introduce the jury first. I'm from I'm Chi Chi Li Yi from Zhongzhen University. Next one. My name is Jin Hong from Zhongzhen University. I'm Zhe Yong Hong, coming from Hong Kong University. Chen Yi Yu from National Taiwan University. Then, okay. Before then, you will check. So, we are Zhu Fei Yi from Weigo, and this is Ge Jun Yi, this is Jian Chen Yu, this is Li Jian, this is also my name. Thank you. Thank you. And we are Jing Yunti from Jingo High School. And Zheng Yihua, he is Yang Hongzhong, he is Hong Zhuan Yi, he is Wei Lun, and he is Jian Chen Chen. Okay. Our comment? This is Hua Ming Zhao Yi Qing, and this is Hong Shao Ti. You ready? And Wu Hong Wu from Jing. You have only four members, right? Yeah. So let's begin. The opponent proposed the problem. Final? Final. You, you can choose your problem? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's skip this one. Okay. So the reporter has five minutes to prepare. Please write down the, the representative.
Honorable judges, fellow debaters, I'm the reporter of this stage, and my topic is Problem 6, Persian Ball. So this is my outline, you can take a look at it. So first I'm going to talk about including introductions. Wait a second. We have the problem. Oh, sorry.
completely, for example, an air pump to flow at the false. Then I left. I will look. I will use Tracker, the software, to analyze my video. So experiment one is just take have a brief look of what I get. Um, so at first it will rise at the high high rate, which I just explained, and then the angle will fall faster and faster, which is correspond with which correspond with my prediction. And then as for angular velocity, at first it will get uh, the angular velocity will fall faster and faster, then it will fall at drop key. So this is the so this is the point when, when the both ball touches the floor. So experiment two, I use different size of the balls. Uh, ball A is seven millimeter and ball B is nine millimeter millimeters. And my dependent and uh, variable will be the max inclination angle, the angular velocity and the duration during the duration. So this is my results answer. So as you can see, ball A have a higher higher angle and uh, higher angular velocity. However, ball A slowed down at a higher rate. So it stopped so it stopped faster than ball B, which is which ball B is larger. So <coughs> these are the max angle of ball A and ball B. And we believe that the, the rationale behind this is that ball, since the ball A are lighter, it is easier to reach a higher angle. And the, the duration is like this, so we speculate that the reason, uh, the reason is that the influence of air friction or rolling friction may be more significant to ball A since it is lighter. So I'm going to use 7 millimeter balls for the next experiment. So the next experiment is the influence of flow in it. So these are the three directions that I mentioned before. So experiment one of experiment, uh, experiment one of three. Uh, so it is comparing blow in the bucket and comparing blowing against it, since both of them will sl slow down the ball. So let's take a look at the result. So the red ones are the original, which I didn't blow them and make it stop naturally. So you can see that both of them, so, so both of them slow it down, but blowing against it reduces it at a higher rate. So according to Magnus effect, blowing above it um, causes a force that slow it down and blow it uh, the method uh, and going against it contributes to a force pointing up. But however, the if I blow against it, it will start stop stop at a higher rate. So that I think the um, so that doesn't correspond with my result. And I we think that the reason may be that the effect of directing reducing this angular velocity is larger than that of reducing this angular as its <coughs> angle and enlarging the torque that gravity calls. So we can know that Magnus effect is actually insignificant and negligible. So experiment two or three. Uh, so I'm blowing through a direction is rotated with two at the same time. So so this is my experiment. Uh, so the blue one is the natural, uh, the original one, and, blue, and the green one is I uh, is the one I blow it. So you can see that uh, if I keep blowing it, the rate will the angle will be hold up at about eighteen to twenty degrees, and the angular velocity will be hold up at about forty to eight, 48 rounds per second. So it can go on and on and on. So the discussion will be if we keep blowing the ball, we can keep the spinning at about the same angle and angular velocity, which is approximately about the air speed. The conclusion, the smaller hurricane ball can reach a higher angle and angular velocity, but will lose its speed faster. Second, both blowing the gas it and blowing above it will slow the ball down, but the former has a bigger effect. Last, 
blowing through the direction it spins can spin it at a certain angle and angular velocity. This is my reference. So thank you. This is the end. <coughs> so opponent uh, propose your question. Okay. Um, I want to load uh, page from first.
The opponent, you propose your question. X max minus four minutes. Yes. And hi everyone, my name is Wu Hong Lu from MDHS 18 from Mindao High School. And today uh, my topic is problem number six, hurry and balls. And this is the problem statement. Okay, this is some summary for reporter. First, they use Magnus effect and precession and to explain this phenomenon and also some friction. And this is their experiment. First, they set up. They use steel, two kinds of steel balls whose radius is 7 mm and 9 mm. And you, they use mirror as the, as the surface and their air pump to blow it. The parameter is the angles between the horizontal and the symmetric axis and the size of the ball. And they are blowing apart. They use three directions to blow the wind. And their data. The data fall faster during the last part because uh, it will touch the ground. So they say their angular velocity will decrease abruptly. And it is for reporters' advantage. He describes the cause and effect of the phenomenon consistency. He used very many kind of ways to explain why the balls will rise up or why the ball angular velocity will decrease. And his speaking is very clear. But there are some suggestions because uh, I think although he has very many ways, but I think he should have a main topic in his report because he has many, but we don't. I don't know which is the most important factor to to influence this phenomenon. And this is for reporters set up theory and experiment data advantage. Um, theory, of course, they clearly explain the phenomenon, and their experiment data is very <coughs> meets the theory radical value because as their assumption the angular velocity will decrease when the time goes by. Okay. Um, I want to go to the discussion part. Okay. First. Uh, why in your theory why does the hurricane balls stand up, show up at first? So uh, sorry.
you say the the velocity here will be faster than here. Yeah. Why? So as you can see, the ball is spinning like this, right? Yeah. And the uh, and the friction of the ball will um, move the air faster. So uh, the friction will here will be a friction, and it will accelerate the wind and. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, in your mm, also, do you think the friction will affect the results? The friction of what? Of the ball. Uh, the table, the mirror, and your ball. Of course. It will. Yeah. But uh, do you think the friction will affect the results? The friction of what? 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 The what friction? Yeah, at which moment the friction gets bigger? I think if the friction between the ball and the mirror increase, what will happen? Um, you mean the... So, you mean if I didn't use a mirror and I use a rough surface? Yes. What will happen? So, I, uh, it will stop faster. It will stop faster, yeah. Even if you're blowing on it or not. Uh, not blowing. Not blowing. So if I keep blowing on it, it won't stop. Okay. So if you blow on it, you don't use a steady flow, right? Uh, so the we use the air pump. So it's, uh, we assume that it is steady. It is steady. Yeah. Then, but um, um, we we then can you control the uh, angular velocity of the revolution? So maybe if we um, make the airspeed faster, the angular velocity will get up. Yeah, so, and what if the angular velocity is faster, you think, how about the friction? It will be bigger or no change? Okay. It will be bigger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but in the, fr in the equation of the fr friction, it should be mass plus uh, mass times mu. It won't go uh, it won't after affect about the angular velocity. It becomes steady. The, the, the friction becomes static friction, right? Yes. So the friction uh, the friction of it, of it will be the force you apply to the surface, right? Okay. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. And in steady motion, um, next bit. Um, and in your in your results, the false weight will affect the result. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, why is it? I, I think I've already mentioned. So since the smaller ball is lighter, uh, it's because of the radius or the weight. Weight. The weight. Yeah. Lighter. No, this is your data. I mean, why? Yeah, and these two are the explanations. So you think it's because of the friction between the the I mean the influence of the of friction, air friction and low friction will be more significant to the smaller point. Also you think the air air friction and rolling friction is very important. Thanks a lot. Okay. Let's go to the stage. The only summarize the discussion. Okay, during this discussion, um, we found that uh, they say if the balls, the balls will tilt up at first because the mirror will have some dust and make the hurricane ball stand up. But I think this is very not very very not reasonable because uh, the mirror should be a very clear and very smooth. Most surface, so I think their their theory maybe have some problem. Okay, and we also find that the the parameters will cause the different angles is because the weight of the ball. But in my opinion, I think it's because the radius. Um, yes, because um, it's very long story, so I can't. Right now. Okay. Next up. Okay. The re 
Okay, I have some question for the reporter. First, you say that about the magnetic effect rise above, right? Uh, yes or no? So in different cases, it may cause rise or so no, no. So how fast it should be to make the ball rise? Because our calcul cal calculation find that the F is have positive correlation between the angular velocity. And we find that if you spin by hand, only by hand, that will be extremely hard angular velocity push goes. If you if you use the magnetic effect and it's, it is impossible to to do with it, have an infla, angular velocity if you just spin by hand, how do you expect it explain that? Magnet magnetness. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Look, look, it is impossible to you to spin only by hand and make the ball it rise. It is possible. It is possible. <laughs> Uh, are you, can, can, do, do you have any data to prove that? So, you, you, mean, you mean videos? Oh, just, just, okay, I can know, I'll show you the video. I'll show you no, the just, video. Just, 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 I, I just, I just okay. say and according to this video, we can see some horizontal movements mainly expect to uh, ex experiment. But there are some horizontal movements mainly uh, central mass move, right? How to avoid it? Do you uh, know how to avoid it? So I use the spirit level. So how, have you ever calculated the effect of the movement? No. No. Okay. So how do you think it will it affect the experiment? How what, 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 the, the horizontal movement? Oh, I think of course it will affect. Oh, will, will it get bigger or get smaller? What bigger? Fine. So you will answer yes. Yes. I okay. The next question for the reporter is: How do you blow your metal ball? Because the public statement told you to blow by a. Like a drinking straw, have yeah, so have you ever uh, have you ever calculated the flow rate? Is that stable? Have you ever? Yeah, so we do you have air air pump. So this is our air pump. I'll show that is the supply air flow, uh, stable air flow. Yeah. Have you have, have do you have any data to prove it? No. Okay. So uh, how much time do you flow the ball? Just if you spin the ball and only one second you flow the ball. How much is that time? Have you ever measured that? Or just flow ball until it get into a stable state. So after I spin it, yeah. I will take the this end. Have you ever 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 count the this this parity of this of time? Nope. No. Nope. Uh, do you think that will affect the experiment if we don't if we change the distance uh, the time distance between you flow it? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. So. Uh, can we explain that the axis, uh, the, the upper ball has some movement of the axis? Can you explain why? Because uh, if you see a ball, right, you will, you will, this ball will some up and movement in this Can you We will have two minutes to prepare.
Honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, we are our team unity, and today what I'm going to review is the problem Q can pose. And according, this is the problem statement. And according to the problem statement, we think there are some very crucial points that we let you give it on ex the experiment, which is the first being by hand, which means that they will have an unstable initial state, and which will might make some error to the theory. And then the crucial point is that they blowing on lens to the tube, and we have also calculated about the flow rate and the tube. And then let's talk about the reporters online. And the first, they will introduce about the, the, the problem and then show us some video about the phenomenon. And then they have some series to process, like the process of ball lifting and the magnus effect and through blowing directions. And then they do an experiment to uh, do, the, and do some parameters, like they change the ball size and turn the blowing direction. And they have they have some property that is the angular and angular velocity. And the last, they talk about the conclusion. They they say that a smaller ball gets faster angular velocity and angle. This is a reporter's pros and cons uh, about the pros. <coughs> the pros, we think they have a clear pronunciation and they have good pre prevention of the effect of friction by hand surface. But they didn't do some some very well. Is that the rising process is not clear enough? And there are no prediction of the data, and no data no, that is not enough. And they even do a, some equation for the theory. And then it's our opponent pros and cons. The, the good thing for opponent is that they consider a lot of parameters. They they think that affect the experiments. And then, uh, but they seems to accept the reporter's point easily because we think some some of the reporter's points is ridiculous. And they have talked about the decay. Uh, this is decay of angular velocity. The opponent asks about it for appears there is lots of sudden decay in their data, but the reporter say if you struck by a limited phase per second the device could be, so there will be a sudden decay. But in our point, we think they should use better equipment to do the experiments. Maybe that three appears to be sudden decay, not because of the device destruction. And the opponent also asks about why the steel ball rise at first, but the reporter asks that the sudden lack of contact between the surface and the one point of the steel ball, so it will rise. Uh, we, we think the reporter can even be sure of the theory, suggest, uh, so we suggest then to use HSR, a camera, to record the constant surface between the ball and the table. And they, they, the opponent asks about the reporter mentioned that the gravity could cause the torque to be spin ball and slow angular velocity down. And they, they have talked about the, which point to the reporter choose to be a pivot. And the reporter said the contact point between the ball and the ball surface. And we think that, that choosing the center of mass is better. And we don't think that it can come from gravity but friction. And we talk about the uh, effect experiment. And we think that consider, we, we consider that is, is an important return because the kind of take friction should be avoided. And we also talk about, uh, there's some missing point I, I should discuss, uh, because the, they, they have to analyze, we think they have to analyze unstable state. Because according to the problem statement, it has a very unstable initial state, because it is spin by ball and it is not even pure rolling. And they didn't explain the horizontal movement of the effect of the phenomena, and they, have, have, they, they, didn't, they didn't have to try to avoid. And they, ha they we think they should have tried to analyze uh, any have some theory to the final angle to do the experiment. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, conclusion report. Mm -hmm. Conclusion so, report. So, report uh, so first, I'm going to say thank uh, the opponent who you for giving me some advice. So during the discussion of with the opponent, we first talked about white and rice and uh, something about the necklace effect. Um, so maybe I can explain it more clearly so that they can catch it more easily. And then the reviewer also gave many um, advices, but um, we use iPhone because we are not we have not many budget on this, so yeah. And also some of the points I think
thank again to the Golden and the Brewer Nestle. Sherry has five minutes to ask a question. Go ahead. Okay, uh, my question will be directed to all the three teams. So if we, if we think about the center of mass of the two uh, joint spinning ball, during the rising movement, uh, apparently there is an upward force which try to push the whole system upward, right? So, what's the origin of this force? Uh, can we start with the reporter, please? We think it's uh, because of friction, uh, the torque of the torque of friction. Okay, and what about the opponent? Uh, can you use a back door? Pardon me? Can I use the backboard? Yeah, sure. Just be brief. Well, in my opinion, there's not a very apparent force um, uh, because, uh, in my opinion, we found that This is our experimental result. So when it rises up, and our theta is this, this we call this theta. So if you want to decrease the theta, cos theta must be bigger. And to be, to let theta be bigger, uh, to let cos theta be bigger, we have to reduce this. So the way we we reduce this part is to increase the omega. So I think it's the flowing air. We okay. flow air on it and will accelerate and omega will increase. Okay. What about the reviewer's point of view? Uh, we think that's caused by the friction by the surface and the ball. And according to the, the but about the opponent's theory, we think that only you can use in the stable state. Yes. Okay. Okay, take your hand. Use instead of the two identical couple, but then use one is lighter than the other, but the small one is the more massive. If you do the same experiment, whether the same so thing. One ball is bigger than one is smaller. And yeah, so the, the, small, the, small, the smaller one is massive than the other one. So, 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 whether this phenomenon can occur, and uh, if it is, uh, which one do you think? The larger one or the less one? I think the heavier one is the less one. The is the heavier one. Yeah. 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 So I think the heavier one is the less one. Okay. Okay. Well, I think uh, because uh, I think if um, if in your condition, uh, to say the the little one has is has more mass, but it's already a smaller. So I think the uh, I think the omega will be I think this this phenomenon will be very messy because it's not symmetric. So I think it's too messy to analyze this. Uh, when it when the two ball has same uh, situation, we think that the same, same mass, the, the upper ball will depending on the initial state. But when in your situation, we think you will uh, we will need to consider the gravity more, and that makes the lighter ball will be more chance to be upper not the upper ball. Force, the magnetic force is a major reader to cause the tear of the angle. Do you both agree with me?
Let's go to the next page. Hello everyone, I'm Hong Xiaoxi from NDHS 18 and today I'm going to present 
a problem of fun funnel and bolts. This is my outline. First, the show uh, show the problem statement, and second, there are videos and uh, phenomena of the this funnel and bolt. The third, the idea from the newest principle, and the fourth, investigate and discuss. Five is an experiment, and six is a conclusion. And this is a problem statement. I said a light bulb can be picked up by blowing airs into the funnel and explain the phenomenon and investigate the relevant parameters. And this is the video of the phenomenon. Here is the flow rate. And As you can see, the ball inside the funnel can be sucked into the funnel by when you uh, blow air inside the funnel, and it will rotate, and it will shake, and co co they will, it will have collisions with the funnel. So we have some idea from Bernoulli's law. Uh, over these days, many teams try to explain this uh, explain this problem with Bernoulli's law. But I have a different point of view. I thought that we can use the Bernoulli's principle to analyze this problem. Because Bernoulli's principle is talking about the conservation of the energy density. But the ball, when the air flow collides, the, the air molecule collides with the ball, the energy will uh, come down from the air to the ball. So it, the energy must not be the concern. So, we cannot use this Bernoulli's law to analyze this problem, but we have some idea from the Bernoulli's law. Like this, Bernoulli's law. And if the velocity, flow rate of the air rise, then the pressure will decrease. <coughs> so, we will use this idea to uh, analyze this problem. And this is the simple picture of the photo and ball. As you can see, the air here must be faster than down here because of the uh, principle we got in air. So the air here will be faster, so the pressure here will be lower. And up down here, the pressure is bigger. So we will have a force to the direction like from here. So the ball can be picked up. And the force is the pressure times the area of the ball. And this is our experiment setup. And there are some elements that cause the result. One is the bell angle of the funnel. And second is the length of the funnel. And third is the flow rate of the air. <laughs> and we define the angle as final angle instead of solid angle. This is experiment. First of all, first of all, because our technical limited, our air compressor will only refill the air until it blow out of the air. So we must uh, measure the flow rate changing by time. This is our equipment. We have a machine to measure the flow rate of the air and the air compressor and the ping pong ball. So. We measure the flow rate there. with the passage of time, the flow rate change, and we measure it three times. And according to our calculation, this, this data will fit in a natural log regression. And the blue point is the average of these three measured data. So we will use this slide to fit in our next experiment. And now, this is experiment one. The relation between flow rate and length. And first, we measure how long the funnel can hold the ball. 
when we start, in, start blowing the air into the funnel, the flow rate will decrease. So, um, at the moment, the ball falls down. We can know how fast the flow rate is, and we can calculate out what is the force that caused by the pressure. And we take three different lengths of the funnel, small, middle, and big. And this is our result, the result. And as you can see, um, when the funnel is bigger, the flow rate of air we need is bigger. And analyze what? We have to explain what why we will get this result from the experimental one. As you can see, the length of the funnel will cause the pressure under the ball. If the length is uh, shorter and the pressure down the funnel will, will be nearly to the atmospheric pressure. And if it's longer, the air down of the ball will have a, a smaller flow rate length up here, but not the atmospheric pressure. And this is our experiment too the relation between flow rate and field angle. We have A, B, C, D, four different field angles. And we measure it from, uh, we first made the funnel by the plastic. And we take a um, measurement, take a paper and fit inside. And measure the paper of the radius and calculate out the field angle. And this is our experiment two, the data of our experiment two. And you can see, uh, funnel A, funnel B, funnel C, funnel D, and the average down here. That means the, if the file angle is smaller, the flow rate in each of the ball is bigger. So why did, it, why did it have this result? We can see that uh, relation between flow rate and the file angle. If the file angle is bigger, and the Direction of the force caused by the pressure will be much uh, perpendicular to the uh, to the ground, and if the field angle is smaller, the force direction will be like here. So the dividing force will be much smaller to the perpendicular of the ground. And this is our conclusion. Uh, if the length is smaller and it's easier to pick up the ball, but less smaller, it's less stable. Uh, the less stable means if you decrease the length of the funnel, the ball will be too easy to fall out and difficult to suck up. And uh, if the file angle is bigger, and it will be easier to pick the ball up that we talk about uh, here. And this problem, we didn't have a clearly function to fit in our result because we think that uh, we don't have any resource that can find it on the internet to solve this problem because uh, we don't think that Bernoulli's law can use on this problem because of the energy won't be conserved. And that is all of my present. Thank you. Bernoulli's law to 
Okay. And then uh, the trend that you, you you showed your trend of the natural law, right? Yes. Uh, and we think it's not not stable enough. Enough. So have you ever changed uh, another way to? But it's try not stable enough. Uh, uh, not not fit your theory line very well. So you know, have you ever tried to change another way to calculate it? You mean a uh, yeah. line of this? Yes. Have you ever tried to change another another way to calculate the experiment? But we have, but we think that this way to calculate. So you have tried trying that, but this is the, the fit more. Right? Yes, this oh, is the right. best fit. Okay, and. Uh, I was how how can you sure your data is completely right if you only do three data per per parameters? Of course, we didn't do only three data. No, but you just say it just that to that page. We did it many times, but we uh, many, but we did it many times. But we found that there's some mistake in our experiment, so we correct that. So this is, uh, yeah, So this is the end result of our experiment. Honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, we are the community and are the opponent of the problem number four, follow ball. And look at the problem statement. And according to the problem statement, we think there are some crucial points the reporter need to do in an experiment, which is the theory picked up process, and then the parameter that influences this phenomenon. And then let's talk about the reporter pros and cons. The reporter's pros that they, they, observe, they, are, they have very clear observation video and they have a great vision of their theory. But the cons is that only consider the flow rate changing in a different con condition, but didn't do an experiment on the effect of flow rate in the light bulb 
Yeah. They didn't even put the light bulb in, into the theory, like, let's just, let's just do the theory, but not do any experiment data, and which didn't prove and investigate the phenomena and the problem wants to want us to do. And that is our discussion point that we will discuss with the port letter and about the setup. Uh, first, we will talk about the wind supply. It's not even or it's not a unstable supply. And we have we will talk, also talk about reflection flow from the table. Not, not this one, sorry. And then about the theory, they have we have talked about the Bernoulli's principle. They, they 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 say they didn't use the Bernoulli's principle, but it seems they they have to a lot of theory based on it, so we have discussed it. And then about the experiment, well, we have to talk about if there is any data with a light bulb and they have they if they do other parameters to consider. And we can do the next stage. First of all, have you ever do any experiment experiment data of you just really put light bulb in the funnel? All of our experiments was through but you, you but in your report you just say that that is uh, the calculation of the flow rate of the funnel, but it didn't change the uh, you didn't really put a ball into it. What we have should put a ball into it, of course. This and where is the data? Yeah. Data and here. So so have you ever do the so you didn't do the data with, without the ball? Oh, of course, with the ball. Uh, so without, where is the flow rate without the ball? Flow rate without the ball? Yeah. Up here. <laughs> Alright. And uh, let's talk about wind supply. Have you ever tested about the, the uh, of your wind flow? Is that the stable wind flow? Um, How can I show that is the stable wind flow? Have you ever do any data to prove it? Because we are machine can ref uh, refill while so, so flow. So do you have do you have any proof? To copy me. To that is a natural log regress line. Yeah. Okay. There are any experiment data, real data. Can, can okay, I have okay. yes. uh, okay, okay, fine. We assume it as, as, as a stable supply, okay? And if that is fine, well, that it will come to the next question. Will it be even when the wind flow flow out of the funnel? Are you sure? Out of the funnel. <coughs> Yeah, yes, why are all the funnel? Is that even to of all the funnel? Can you explain more? Uh, if, if, that, if there could be a possible that the flow rate, after the flow rate flow out of the funnel has a certain direction that will, uh, the wind flow will, come, will be to a pass like this one, the, the most of the flow will come from this distance. How do you show that the flow is even, that all of them will we are, we are not sure about this. But so because we assumed it at the very beginning, and you didn't do any test about to prove it, right? Yes. What's the data? The data of what? Uh, is that that flow rate in front of your theory? We measure our flow rate as here. I, I want to uh, in different conditions. What what happened? What will all happen if we if uh, the wind pass is like what I said? What will it be? Influence our experiment. The ball will rotate and shake. And rotate, but you say that is rotate on your experiment. Then of course it's rotate. So so you will also rotate it if even it is even, the flow rate is, is even. How? Why? Did you mean the both side flow flow rate is even? Yes. But if there is an ideal situation that the both side flow rate is even, it will rotate. So but in your experiment, you say that it's rotate, right? Yes. It means it's not even. Yes. So you didn't even have a experiment data to, to try to calculate the, where, where is the have more flow rate. So what will be the influence if they are almost the same flow rate come to a certain direction? Almost the same. Almost the same? Then the, even? Then the pressure here will be very low. Why is the will be very low? You say you did in any of the Bernoulli's principle. Okay, okay, sure. But you use the idea from the Bernoulli principle. Okay. So so you I can I can assume that you do all experiment on the base of you do the Bernoulli's principle in an ideal situation. No, not the ideal situation. We okay. didn't calculate using the Bernoulli's principle because we so in what? In can you do the theory page? 
So you say that the flow, the flow flow rate is the next page six, please. You say that if the flow rate is bigger, it will be a smaller pressure. Yes. Why? Because uh, we didn't use the produce principle. But we use the idea. Oh, okay. Um, do you know why we can't use the Bernoulli's principle? Why? Because the energy isn't the same. The same. There's no the uh, energy density isn't con conserved. So you, you think you can use, but we can use for calculation. But we can get the idea from the Bernoulli's law. Oh, okay, okay, fine. So, so and. But all of we know that if the Bernoulli's principle, the condition of the Bernoulli's principle is that the flow is a linear flow. So yes. the definition of the linear flow is that the Reynolds number is smaller than 2,000. So have you ever tried to measure the Reynolds number? If no, if because if the Reynolds number is too, too large, you can't even use the Bernoulli's principle in any prediction. So you think so, have you ever tried to test the uh, Reynolds number? We have found a paper on the internet that said that if the flow rate of the air is very high, and we can assume that there, there is no uh, uh, the compress of the air. So, you just think it won't, it won't be a fact, but you didn't do any experiment data. To yes, we didn't do the experiment. So, where is the Reynolds number? What? What? We didn't do for that experiment. Oh, okay, okay, so. And what is the biggest and smallest ball that can be absorbed? Uh, what, is, is, is there a the limited mass of the ball? Is that the, if we, we know that if the ball's mass is too large, it can't be absorbed, right? Have you ever tested that? What is the mass and the mass? As you can see, the, um, the average here, right? You do three measurements, back, right? But you, all, all three of your three data have two large difference. So you, it, it is not, is it not, not any meaning even you have taken average. But there is not very big difference. Uh, there is very. The the error is not very big. The, the difference between zero point eight. 83 and 0 0.71, you say that is only a small yes, that, that for, for, the measurement, difference. for the measurement of the flow rate. So you just we consider it as the accurate. So even though that looks so different. Okay. Okay, uh, 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 I want to talk about the, the other parameters you should take. And have you ever tried to make another parameter like the you mean, have you said the three parameters we choose from, the, from here? The oh, so what, what, is, what is the, uh, uh, what will happen if the, 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 what will happen if we have a certainly other parameter but only change the ball's mass? You mean what? everything won't change, it's only change the ball's mass? And how will that influence your experiment? You mean that like most of them won't change, but if the ball mass, the, the mass of the ball increase, then we need a bigger flow rate to submit. So you see that. And how, how from, will it from, the, from our data we can get that? So what, what will happen if we only change the radius of oh? You mean don't change the don't change yeah, the mass. mass. Only but change how, how big will radius? Yeah, yes. Will, um, uh, will the angular velocity will be stable or? I think it, it will be more stable because it will be more stable. Yes, because if you change, uh, if you increase the re radius. But in in your experiment, we can clearly see that while the ball is here, there will be a vibrate, a little vibrate. Yes. Part, how you can see that is stable part? Because it's moving every time. Um, I mean, more stable. It means that uh, uh, here, the radius here will be more smaller. So the uh, so the so the thing the, 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 the ball won't touch the funnel in any time. No, the ball will. But when we see in the ideal situation, so you just only think about ideal situation. So what the difference between the ideal situation and what in your the experiment data. It will rotate and it will shift. And how and how it affect the experiment? We didn't do this experiment. We didn't do that. And 
the next question is that what property of you to do the me to do the measure the situation of the light bulb? You mean? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever measured the? Uh, oh, is there any picture of it, of, of your experience when you change the funnels? Picture of the experience when we change the funnel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, here. Because you, I, I think like you only measure the flow rate of the experiment. What and what else did you do? Except, except the measure of the flow rate. Uh, we change the uh, fuel length of the funnel, and we change the length of the funnel, and we change the. Uh, okay, so you do this. Can you we, we do these three parameters. And where is it? Okay, okay, fine. Let's take about this page and this to 10 years and 11. So I can say that if one experiment data with the ball and one is without the ball, right? No. You measure the ball rate of this page, right? No, but the, the, this page is the average, the blue dot is the average of these three experiments. <coughs> what? You, so you, this experiment is the data with the ball or not, actually? Do you mean we measure the flow rate? Yeah, if you, when you measure it, have you ever put a ball in it? Yes, we have put a ball in it. So what is the data without the ball? Uh, we didn't have, because we don't need to consider without the ball. The problem statement is talking about with the ball. Uh, but uh, according to uh, your experiment data, you think you only measure some property of the ball, but you didn't do the parameter, like you, you didn't, you didn't, uh, you didn't measure the height of the ball. You didn't check. You didn't measure the angular velocity of the ball. So, um, if, if you if there have uh, some change, if that will exclude influence the experiment, what do you think is that? Um, you are asking for my opinion. Uh, um, if we change the size of the ball, oh, okay. it will be. If you spinning faster, if or we change the, if we increase the radius of the ball, I think it will, the vibration of the ball will be smaller. So what, what else? Like if we change the, if how the angular velocity in, in influence your experience? Angular velocity. Yes. Have you ever measured? You didn't measure, right? Right. We, we didn't measure. So how would it be? Just guessing. How would it be if, if, if the angular velocity influence your experience? Velocity. Yes. Um, I think if the angular velocity is bigger, the the, uh, the force that stops the ball is smaller. Okay, so so this is the quality of thing, right? And I, I only want to what what is the most important parameter you think in this experiment? Um, the flow rate. The flow rate, only the flow rate. So if we change the other uh, so so, uh, the summarize the discussion. And we, according to the discussion time, we have talked about the uh, reporter have talked about they, they say they do many experiments but choose three of them. But we think that they wasn't sure of the data fit their theory, but just do three experiments and or even choose the same they want to show us and take the average of it. We think it's not far from enough. And reporters say, which, which is And we, we think that it is the flow rate even, is the flow rate even when it came to a formal funnel. And we ask about what it will make some long fall week. And they say yes. They, they both say yes and make us a little bit confusing. And I, I also asked about if the flow rate is not even why the pressure and the flow rate first have negative re 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 revelation. And the uh, reporter said that they, they didn't use the Burmese principle to collect, co to calculate, but to explain the phenomena. Question for the reviewer. Okay. Um, uh, first one is for the opponent. The reviewer, uh, the, sorry, the reporter believes that Bernoulli principle can be used in this experiment. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Why? Because because uh, we think if the Reynolds number is too large, we can you even use the 
you start to explain okay. this for okay. now. Thank you. Um, uh, 33, 36. Uh, you said that the, the velocity of flow at point C is bigger than at um, whatever. That was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, this is this is the this is the result of the continuity, the continuity equation. And the limitation is that the air must be incompressible. Do you um, do you think that? Yes, we, I have told the opponent that we have find a paper that said if the velocity of the airflow is very high, we can ignore the compressor as well. Do you agree? Mm, uh, basically, yes. But why basically? Just I mean, I mean, no, sorry, sorry. No, 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 I mean, I mean no. My essay is no. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, please remind me, how, how do you measure the flow rate? The flow rate? Yeah. Oh. We turn off the, turn off the refill button of the compressed machine, air compressor, mm -hmm. and we have uh, this machine for measuring the flow rate. Okay. This is our result. Yeah, thank you. And uh, and then um, the before it didn't consider the Gonda effect. The, do the uh, does the opponent think Gonda effect does matter? If, if they if you do say effect is about the angle of the cone. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Co Gonda effect. Gonda oh. effect. What's oh, I, I don't get it. Uh, you consider the viscosity. Uh, okay, let's move to the next question. And um, imagine that there is a ping pong ball, but it has a rough surface, just like golf ball. Do you think this phenomenon still um, exists? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and how, how does it, how is it different from... I think the, the force that suck the ball will be very slow, because the dots on the golf ball will make a lot of uh, mass on the air force. Okay, thank and, you. And we think that will be rotating even faster if you will use servers with not even oh. like I do in negative control. Um, uh, um control. for the reporter, do, do you measure the track force of the of the flow? Um, from the experiment we, we made we can measure the track track uh, track force. How do you measure it? What tool? The wave of the, the wave of the ball. You can see the so you, that means the, the flow the rate of the Preparation for the reward. Two minutes. Um, it's my honor to be the reviewer today for the topic final involved. 
And the, uh, the problem is that a light bulb can be picked up with a funnel by blowing air through it. Explain this phenomenon and investigate the random parameters. And uh, for the reporter's outline, um, um, I, I first discussed the agenda. And first, the uh, reporter says the Bernoulli's principle to, to ex, uh, use the Bernoulli's principle to explain, but not to um, like really calculate it. And, and then he used several parameters like um, field angle of the funnel and length of the funnel, flow rate of the air. And then he made a conclusion that uh, the smaller the length, the less stable the, the ball. And uh, the field angle, uh, the bigger the field angle and the less force. And then for the pros of the reporters, um, he's clear, uh, he has clear video to show the phenomenon and there is a clear setup and clear explanation for experiments. And, but uh, for the cons, there, there are no periodical model and not enough parameters. And um, also, we don't have error bar that we just data. And um, we did mention about the quality effects, uh, which we think it does matter in this phenomenon. You know. And uh, uh, no, and, uh, he has problems dealing with the uh, experimental data. And there is no comparison within the, with the theory to experiment. Next, um, for the opponent's pros and cons. Um, uh, the opponent has good points uh, to discuss, and on um, his own pace, taking over the discussion. Yeah, and for the cons, um, we think that the uh, opponents speak a little, a little bit too fast, so we, would, we had a hard time to catch it. And he mentioned about um, some good points, like the wind supply factor flow, but um, he didn't discuss it later. Um, for the opponent's question, uh, okay, um, he first asked how do you start up the experiment and try to change other ways to calculate experiment, but it didn't fit well. And, um, okay, um, let's begin with the opponent's question. The opponent asked, um, uh, does, does the report test the wind flow? And the reporter answered yes, he showed the data. And the, the opponent asked, how, do you, how, do you, how are you sure that the flow will evenly when passing through the funnel? And the reporter didn't explain clearly and used the Bernoulli's principle to get an idea. And then the opponent asked that, how can you define the marine ball is in the same ball condition? And the reporter answered that, um, they just think about the ideal condition and they didn't pass it, which we think is quite um, like not reasonable. Yeah. And uh, we think that the reporter missed the point of not considering viscosity and not mentioning continuity equation, and there is no comparison between the inside force and the drag force. And there are no, uh, they didn't conclude the optimal final in his own experiments. And thank you. 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 Thank and there's, um, there's some, there are many things that we didn't consider, such as the shaking of the ball and the rotating of the ball. We just uh, put it into the loss of the energy in the by, uh, of the flow. And for a reviewer, I think you have a very good review on my project, and uh, you did, did give me very many, many advice, like uh, having having error bars on this experiment data and uh, explain the continuity equation on this picture. And this is all of my remark. Thank you. Question from the reviewer. Anyone? Uh, 
No jury. No? I will keep the Christians. Go to page 6. You mentioned you have the two pressure from the left side and the right side. Yes. But that's the only two forces that were acting from the graph. Actually, that's a continuous force, right? Right? Because it is close to the circle. What are these forces that were acting on this ball? Um, the collision of the air molecules to the ball. So, that means the air float, speed of air float, yes. will give it down or up. The speed of the airflow will give it a down force. Okay. What other force? For me? What other force? Go ahead. Uh, I, think, I think the air pressure here and here will be a difference. Like, um, this is have a high, th this has a high pressure, and <coughs> like, um, you draw in the picture, the flow will go like this. So okay. This pressure Let's will go to the opponent. This ball will stay here, or oh, sometimes will bounce, right? You keep asking the bouncing, right? What's the main problem of this question? Would be the, the ball will keep here, or bouncing back or forth? But yes, we're uh, 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 Sorry about that. First, I, I don't even believe that the, the wind flow is even. So it should be like having... No, no, no. My question is, the ball will keep in here will be the main problem or bouncing bike will be the main problem. The next one would be the bouncing bike will help it will help you keep in here or just will make it go down. It will not in fact go to it to go up or down. It just a vortex to make it have the tail side. Then what's the problem of the statement? Let's go to page one. Can be picked up with a tunnel by the blow air to read. Okay. Yes. What's the main feature phenomenon should be investigated? The, 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 the vortex, the, the vortex or the ball and the flow rate, the, the pass of the flow rate, I think is the most important. Okay. I have a question for you because your data did not show you to clear the coast down. You have experiments, especially the three, I think this one, the three, go ahead, the next one. The, 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 13, you're right. When you state the flow rate there, first measurement 0 0.83, 0 0.71, 0 0.75, what does it mean? I mean, what does it mean? You, I can blow it very fast, it's still there, and, and blow it very slow, then it goes down. What are you measuring? Um, I think you have a wrong understanding on my experiment. Okay. We first put the ball on the front top funnel, yes. and we both flow. Yes. And the air flow rate will decrease. So we measure the time that the ball falls down. The time when it falls down. Yes, and, and that's convert it to the, the rate the there. Yes. Okay. You have to say clearly that's the reason I'm not taking it. Any question for me? So uh, now I understand that the reporter doesn't believe that an No, he doesn't working. say to the. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, he said insufficient. Okay, insufficient. I also got the impression that the opponent somehow agreed with this point of view. Is that right? Pardon, sorry, sorry. Do you, basically, do you agree with the reporter's view that Benoist... No, no, of course not. I, I disagree with the oppo so, opponent's view. Okay, so do you see Benoist's principle no. should, okay, shouldn't work? For this particular problem, yes, because because the random number. Okay, so what's the reviewer's take on this same question? On my viewpoint, yes, um, uh, I, I I I disagree with both the reporter and the opponent. I think um, the the energy loss is negligible. I see. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the page six. Actually, I I feel that you said the Bernoulli principle is not sufficient. Will Bernoulli apply here? Yes. Will not Bernoulli apply here? No. Will not Bernoulli apply here? You mean the surface on the... Yes, on the top. No. 
The reason you set the blue is not apply here. Why? Because some of the air molecules will have collision with the ball. And not all of the air flow will go this way. Some of, some of them will be okay. Thank you. Can you go to page uh, this period of thirty? Uh, well, so here you use different uh, solid angle of the uh, solid angle, uh, the different, different different angle. Right? angle. Okay, but uh, here the tube, the diameter of the tube is also different. So do you think that will influence your results? Um, it, I think it will influence, but not very much, because uh, the uh, I, I don't think that that will influence the flow rate. Uh, value of flow rate a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we do on this? Yeah. Um, I, I think it, it does matter because due to the continuity equation that when the cross section of the tube is smaller, the velocity goes up and the flow rate, um, which impact on oh. the ball goes up. Sorry, the, the, the area here is the same. It's the same? Yes, but the, the, the length is, is, the, is different. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think that the diameter won't affect a lot. Didn't. Okay, Jerry, get the time to test. Five minutes of preparation for the report. Thank you. 
the, the black line means the simulation result, and the red dot means the experiment, the check, check, the dot we check in check. And at this point, is when the black dot appears on this point, is when the heavy dot starts falling. You can see before, before this point, the alpine decreased very fast, but after that, the alpine decreased slower. And we also analyzed the y position versus t plot of the half dot. And in this graph, you can see the half dot stop about 0.28 seconds. So we also draw the velocity versus time plot of the half dot. And we, to discuss it easily, we divide this vt plot into three stages. And why the half dot stop falling? We can feel it from the force and force and motion field. As we say, we divide the motion into three parts. At stage one, because the velocity, velocity of the light plot increased, and the theta hit on the road increased, <coughs> and the tension of this road increased. So the tension on the heavy load increased. But this time, the graph gravity effect is still bigger than the tension line, so it accelerates. But on, on the two, stage two, when zeta is big enough, the tension on the heavy law are bigger than mg, so it starts to slope down. And on stage three, when the heavy law starts falling, if the heavy law wants to move again, the ratio between two tension has to satisfy this condition. But at the very last time, the tension, the ratio between tension is equal to e power to mu k multiplied theta plus pi over two. So half of us start flowing again. And our our experiment, we change various parameters. First, we change the mass of half of to change, and the mass of light bar is constant to change the ratio between two law and measure the falling height of hydro. And next, we do our, our experiment. We change the initial theta, which the headlight bar is not released horizontally, and measure the falling height of hydro. And next, we also change the L, initial L here and count around the light bar sweep around. And here's the results. In a mass ratio experiment, you can see that the falling height increased while the mass ratio increased. The black line is our simulation result and the red line is the experiment result. And if because why why this happened? Because when the head dot is the mass ratio is big, it means that we need more time to set the half head dot from falling. So the head dot will have more time to fall. But if the mass ratio between these two lines so too big or too small, this experiment will be failed. And next, we change initial angle of our light bulb. The positive angle means that light bulb is lower than the horizontal line. And the negative angle means the light bulb is released up is higher than the horizontal line. You can see that. When, when, when the minimum of falling height happens at about negative 30 to 40 degrees. So, when, but when the degree, inner degree is too big or too small, this experiment, we cannot see the phenomenon we talk about. And next, we change the initial L, which means the, in, the initial length of right row increase. So, as you can see, when the, when the initial L increase, the round light bulb sweep around will increase because it has longer rope to sweep around the rod. Also, we change the rod friction. That means we change the material of our rod from metal to wood. And we also measure the coefficient of static and kinetic friction. And you, as you can see, if the, the coefficient becomes bigger, then the, and other 
initial condition is same in the first experiment, trajectory experiment. So you can see that at this point, the head loss are falling. And we also make the YT plot to prove it. YT plot of the head loss to prove it. And at the last experiment, the light loss are at about 0 0.28 seconds. But in this experiment, we can see that head loss stop at about 0 0.23. That means the falling time is shorter than the before. Because the sub falling time is shorter than the metal, exper metal rod experiment, so the light bar will have longer time and rope to sweep around the rock. So that's why it can have more run to sweep around the rock. And here's our conclusion. Release in the front segment, we see that release a light bar and you will sweep around the rock. The light loss is around the rod with coil trajectory. And after the head loss starts falling, the radius decreases because of the rope tied on the rod. And how keeping how the rod keeping the head rod from falling? Because the tension enhances and gradually slow down end. So that head rod. And the maximum static friction stops the head loss from falling again. And here's my Presentation, thank you. Question from the uh, opponent. Uh, first of all, <coughs> can you turn to a page that you think the experiment is fat? You see this thing, the territory of the light bulb? Yeah, you, you have a video then. You, see, you say that experiment is fat. This one? Um, can you or, play this? I, I don't think... Uh, this is a picture that we use checker to check the video. Oh, it's so just show that we use checker. So can, check. you, can you turn... You said, you, you said one of the experiment failed. 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 Fail. Fail. Which? Mass ratio or the... I, I think you only put one of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you think it failed because... Can you play that again? Okay. This is mass ratio is too big. You can see that when the mass ratio is big, because the head is too heavy, so it pull the string very fast. So the light bar won't have the string to sweep around the rock, so it fell. Okay, thank you. And uh, can you show the picture of the lighter weight, the lighter object? You say video like. No, I, I just want to see the picture of the lighter bulb. Oh, light bulb. And a uh, picture of white ball. And in this in this picture, we use we in experiment we always use the use the this like this small metal ball. Can you see that? I think it is a heavy one. Where is the here? It's a weight. We use oh, okay. the hook to put the uh, weight up. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Three minute preparation for the component.
So I am the opponent for this round, and my topic is looping pendulum. And this is a problem statement, which they, which is one heavy load and one light load, and sweep around the rod, and investigate the phenomenon. And I will first say the summary, and then the conclusion, and the string of witness, and the question problem. And for the summary, their theory talk about a lot of situation. They discuss about the the length of the rope, the friction, the theta, and also their theories have clear diagram and formula to explain the motion. And for their parameters, they first investigate the mass ratio between two rods, two loads, and then the initial angle of the system, the initial length of the system, and finally the rod friction. And the conclusion is that the light loads will swoop around the rod with coil trajectory. And for the for the mass, if the mass ratio is too big and too small, the experiment will fail because the lighter load cannot swoop around the rod. And let the influence for the angle and the, the length and of the trick. So their strength is that they have clear diagram to show the theory and they have clear explanation and experiment results. And I think there's so a little parameters to be considered, and I think we can later discuss them in discussion. And for a question or answer, for a question, I think we can just look to a discussion. So first of all, I would like to ask you that, what is the main factor of, of this phenomenon? So if, so can you just say, if there is not if there is no something, what will this phenomenon cannot exist? Uh, I think it's a friction. If the friction, if the rod is sleepy and they don't have friction on it, the head rod won't stop. So the light rod won't have strength to sweep around a rod. Okay. And next, um, so for this experiment, what is the connection for this and the pendulum? Connection of this with pendulum. Okay. Uh, in the theory we talk about here, yeah. you see that the I think why why it is like pendulum because at this certain point and there have the velocity of the light law, right? Yeah. And the tension and this and for this but it's like the pendulum. But the the pendulum, the terminal point of the string will shorten in this phenomenon and look in and the touching point of the leaves pendulum will also change. So can I say that this is a pendulum that the lens will change? Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes, in this system. But may I ask you that if this is the point that fixed, but for every time the theta after theta change, the think the center of this point will move around this rod. Uh, you say this terminal point of the string here? Yeah. Uh, yes. So, do you consider it in your theory? Consider, yes. The theta, you see here, the, ro the rotate angle here, the theta, and the theta here will also plus the theta. Um, so the, here I will next. I mix this length, so you, you do consider it. Yes, okay. I think answer. Okay, so may I ask you that did you investigate the phenomenon that if if the heavier weight drop and after that the lighter lighter load come up and then the heavier weight drop again? Uh, no, we didn't observe this phenomenon. Sorry. Okay, so would you like to think about that? Why would this happen? You say the heavy loss. Sorry, you say the heavy loss stop, right? And yeah. and after a while, when the light loss sweep a little bit and the heavy loss stop falling again. Yes, I think that maybe is that your your string is not very even. So the coefficient on the string in it on a surface between string and a rod cannot become like this and so it moves again. Okay, so 
in, with, in our discussion, we talk about the this the point of the L pump and the pendulum, and also discuss about if this is a pendulum. And for another investigation, that the heavier weight will drop twice. So I think that the problem is that when the lighter load comes to the top, the tension will decrease, and the, the capstan equation cannot. So can you turn to a zero page? And the capstan equation will not hold. So I think um, this will not hold. So the heavier weight will fall again until it holds. Until this condition exists. So, so can you sorry, can you you, you say that? Uh, yes, I I. I agree with you. The when the light rod is swim up above, the tension the tension on the light rod will increase because the gravity on it work, right? Do you mean that? Um, the um, tension you say that tension on the tension yeah, on the light rod will increase, right? Yeah. But when the light rod and because why the head rod won't move, move again because when and at about this point, we talk about in this. In this. In this graph, right? It, it stops here. Yeah. So you say that when the light now swing swing up here, the maybe the head levels will stop for uh, fall down again, right? Yeah. But at this point, the theta has become bigger, and. In this theory, the, the tension, the, because the tension is smaller, right? But the, the zeta here is bigger. So we think that the tension of the head lock can hold the head lock weight. So is so is tension. Um, is tension only matters for to zeta and the <coughs> friction coefficient? Uh, yes, on a rod. But if the tension of this, I think, if this change will the normal force to that also affect. Also, also affect. But uh, so you want me to say how this, why this equation? Okay, then you explain it. Uh, the equation I got there is from this, from this theory. Okay. Uh, do I have to explain you or? Um, no, I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. And may I ask you more question about? Um, well, is it possible if this rod comes in here and the heavier weight stop, but it didn't, it failed to come up here and it dropped back again and form a circle? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for so you said that the light bar sweep around here and the and sweep around that. Um. Yeah. Uh, so no, we didn't. We haven't discovered that. Um. Okay. So, um, can you go to your setup? Yeah. Uh, 
And that way, that because the flight load in heavy load is straight line and vertical to the ground, so yeah. the heavy load or fall will fall down right, and you will and light load will even down. So the, it, this phenomenon won't happen. In this graph, the, this is the success range of this experiment. So can you draw how what what is the range for your theta to the the experiment setup? Oh sorry, that makes me to meant to understand okay, I apologize. Uh, here's we define the theta. No, no, why, why axis, right? Yeah, yes. So the negative this theta is mean that this is positive theta, clockwise is half positive theta, and the under clockwise is the is the negative theta. So the negative theta means that we release the light bulb about the rise of light. And we in the in the in our sorry in our theory in our theory we also maybe I can mention that we we make the theory zero at the center of the rock. Okay. So this when the theta is part negative is higher than the ball time. And the, when the theta is initial theta is big, it's positive and release at here. Okay. So well well wait one step once the comes that the tension becomes zero. So it will the tension will always be bigger than zero. Tension. Well, tension be always bigger than zero. Tension be always bigger than zero. So if, if there is always tension there. There is always tension here. Uh, yes, yes, the finger. Okay, thank you. And may I ask you a assumption question? That if the rod is smooth, what will happen? If a rod well, is smooth, yeah. And the equation here connect. Cannot, we can and we cannot use the equation here to invest to investigate this phenomenon because if the so if the if the rod is smooth the tension on both sides is the same because the mass of the uh, sorry I have a Because we have measured the mass of the string and only one grain in the four meters long rope. So if the if the rod is smooth, the tension on two sides will be equal, approximately. Because this this weight is very small is very smaller than the rod. Okay, okay, so from my opinion do you do you neglect this? Yes. And I think it's neglectable too. And the last question, do you think, do you consider that how the rope whip around the rod? So if the rod, if the ropes go over each other, will it be some error? I'll say, you say that in two dimension analyze the no, rod. I mean, I mean, in three dimension, if the rope rod groups around others and they, like the rope here and another rope come here. Well, oh, you say indirect, yes. Because the friction, we cannot count that theta um, in the equation we use. So you check it? Yes, no. No, no happen. Okay. In our success experiment. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Opponent summarize the discussion one minute. All right. So first of all, we talk about what is the main factor to this phenomenon. And the uh, reporter said it is a friction, and I agree with him. And then we say the conjunction of this and pendulum. And I think reporter explained well. And then for a multi-drop problem, I think the reporter didn't consider this. And I think it is another kind, another investigation well, worth to discuss. And then it's the tension of the string. And I think we redefine some, I, I mean that I re, re understand some uh, definition of their parameters. And then, we talk about that if 
the theta is too big or something like that, will the tension come to zero and if their theory is still fine? And also we talk about if the rod is smooth, I think that it is another theory, and the theory only do with friction. And last, we talk about if the rock intersect with each other. Thank you. One time. Question from the reviewer. Um, I want to ask a model first. Um, the reporter says that if the rod is smooth, yeah. and the tension both sides will be same. Do you agree with this? If we neglect the mass of the rope, yes. Yes, then what will the motion be like? If it is, if, it, if the friction didn't exist, the heavier weight will drop and the lighter weight will still loop around the rod with the pendulum. It's similar to pendulum, which the length will change. And then they'll loop around the rope, but the heavier weight cannot, they cannot prevent the heavier weight from dropping. So the heavier weight will keep dropping until the lighter weights go Go okay. back the okay. rod. And what's your opinion if the rod is smooth? Uh, it's smear with the opponent, and if uh, there is the smooth, smooth rod, the heavy rod, the light rod, in, 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 at the beginning it will swing around, right? <coughs> but because there is no friction, so the heavy rod won't stop, move, stop falling. So it will decrease the L, L, uh, L time we discussed. And and when and you continually pull the light bar down to the ground. Okay, can you show me the formula that you count the tension that uh, T big M equals to T small M exponential at the page? Oh, you say the improvement? Yes. Oh, sorry. Do yeah. you think that this can be used in our phenomena? Uh, yes, because we this assumption we in we divide the rope into many small small pieces. So we did we have said talk before the mass of the rope is very light, right? And so a little pieces of the very light rope, its mass is approximately zero. So in this in this piece of rope, the Tension on two sides will balance. We balance. and well, we have balance, and there have uh, friction work on it here. You mean the uh, m times acceleration of the rope and the m and is the, equals to zero. Uh, the the you see the tension work on two sides of this piece of rope, right? And on this. So, horizon. so if you cannot ignore the mass of the rope, the weight? Oh, we neglect the mass of rope. So, okay, thank you. This is my question. Okay. If you will have two minutes to prepare.
won't stop and will keep falling down. I think that we need to make uh, we need to make more discussion about this because I don't really think the heavy load will fall down and don't stop. And this is all of my review. Thank you. Conclusion report from the reporter. And here's a concluding remark from a reporter from Qing Yunqi. The opponent says that the main factor or of the theory phenomenon would bring back the friction to make this phenomenon happen. And Hanon also asks about when the light loss wave around, the tension of the rope will increase. Do you consider that? And we think that although the tension becomes smaller, but the angle of the rope contact with the rope will increase. So it can afford, afford the gravity of the heavy load bring in from force again. And the opponent also asks, well, the interact of the rope influence the phenomenon? Yes, it does. And we have prevented it in all our experiments. And the reviewer asks, is the theory suitable in the phenomenon? Yes, it does. Because we have proved the mass of the rope is neglectable. And did not measure the coefficient, of the coefficient of friction? Yes, we have. But sorry, we haven't shown that to you. And here's how we measure the rock friction. We use the equation we use in the rock friction uh, proof. When I use a string force to connect a rock here and connect a, another weight, and, and the whole system is balanced. So when I, when I pull the string force slowly, the number value on the string force will increase, right? And when I get the when I pull it slowly and get a bigger string force, I can get Ts equals to D0 to this equation. And the and the when it's size so I drop I pull the string force, the ten, the string force equals the tension here, right? So the number of the string force will be a constant. And here's our data to prove that our experiment. Uh, we make the T0 and TK linear fun function. Sorry. Thank you. Well, the jury will have plenty of time to ask. Go ahead. So, uh, for the reporter, you give us a uh, boundary condition for your data. Right. Uh, it's an initial condition? Yeah, initial condition. Yes. So it's around, it's between 20 to minus 60. Yes, that's the range that can success. Okay, so is there any possible way to change it? I mean, is it universal? Or do you have any idea if oh. you change we the parameter that you can? Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I. Uh, uh, we have changed the. Uh, sorry, because I speak too fast, so I didn't mention that. The, and this word is too small, I apologize. Uh, here's the initial condition of these two experiments. So these two experiments is not the same experiment. Yes, but uh, we have changed the... You not only change the length, but you also change the ratio. Yes. Right. So this is, uh, I think this is coincidence that the, why the range is from 20 degrees to uh, past so, 60 degrees. Uh, if we just keep the ratio between two mass and change the length, what will you happen? Change the length? Yeah. Uh, I think it will. You won't. The change of length won't affect a lot because the because there have a ratio between two tensions. So the process to stop the heavy load from falling is similar. So I think that. Uh, we don't make the experiment for that, so we ensure. But uh, I think I guess that the this train will be similar. Okay, so for the um, I think that if the lens is not long enough, it might not have the time for the lighter load to swing around the rod, and and that's prevent the heavy weight from falling. So it might fail. It's my opinion. It's the same as the opponent. I think that. Uh, length 
the initial team decided that if he can stop the heavy load before the before he had <laughs> enough ground.